We're going to create a new web application in Visual Builder to manage expenses and allow people to update expenses from the Oracle ERP system. First, we're going to create a new application and in it we're going to create our web page. Let's drop a title and then we'll add a table. We can also add above the table a search field. And we're going to hook it up to some data that we'll keep in a variable. We'll keep this in a search variable. All right, next thing we need to add some data to the table. Uh, this data is going to come from our Oracle ERP system. So let's add a service connection, select the catalog and go to the ERP system. This will retrieve all the business object that ERP exposes for us in Visual Builder. This is quite an extensive list and we are specifically looking for the expenses um, object and we're going to pick up the operations on expenses. Next we're going to go back to our page, click our table and add data to the table from our expenses object. Here we're going to see all the fields that are available in the expense object. Let's pick up some fields to show in our table. We can pick up the description. We can pick up the justification. And the build amount, for example and a seat amount, like that. Let's set the search criteria here. We're going to uh, search on the description and see if it contains our search variable. Clicking finish would go over and would fetch information into our interface. If we we'll switch over to live mode, we'll be able to filter our table. For example, we can look up all the expenses that relate to sushi. Next, we're going to add the ability to also edit those expenses. And to do that, we're going to click the table and create an edit page. Again, choosing the same expenses object. And again, we can create and choose specific fields that we want to show here. We'll pick up the description and we'll pick up the justification. And again, from the amounts, we can add the receipt amount. We're going to modify the table so when we click on a row, we're going to edit that row. We'll add a navigation to the edit page and we're going to pass in the expense ID. With this in place, we can remove the edit expense button and the toolbar that surrounds it. All right, let's run our little application. We have a list of expenses. We can look up a specific expense. Click on the expense to see the details. 
fix issues and save the data. This saves the data back into ERP and we now have the updated information in our table. This is how easy it is to create an ERP extension with Visual Builder.